Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement with having. We do this by recognizing our role in America. What is the goal that the Lord has put on your heart to share with America? How do you know what that is? Because only when you understand your own mission, vision, and values for your individual life do you know how to partner with someone else for the rest of your life. Many people use their idea of chemistry with someone, meaning a sexual attraction to someone, at first to pick their partners. That is very foolish. Other people fall into a relationship because they've been chosen by a predator to be utilized and sometimes abused. The liars of America like to play in people's private lives, and that is immoral. If you already have a life partner, then that is the extent of which you should be talking about anything at all in that area that realm of intimacy by nature who a person is in their private moments alone in their bedroom with whoever they love is who they are and openly it takes a lot of negotiation no matter who is in that room to handle that by far god gives us guidance in the bible of how we are supposed to love honor and regard all people but when it comes to our life partner they have to be someone who's willing to raise us up on eagle's wings and support us in almost everything. It's interesting how everyone in life needs that right partner, but it's also interesting by when you give your secret code words to the Lord about who that is, that he might bring you somebody that you didn't ever consider before your lifeline ran asunder to them. What I mean is that you might have been assigned, you might have been aligned, you might have been introduced way back in time but you don't remember completely because it was such a still moment. The moment sticks out in your mind, the moment sticks out in his mind, but you were both in different points of your life at that time. And openly then you decide to regroup or one of them decides to follow or maybe there was an exchange of business cards and you don't even remember because that's so much a part of your life to do. But openly people in life have the right to be free. And freedom says I have the right to be me. When I have the right to be me, it means you don't have the right to be you on top of my life. You don't have the right to do things to my life without my consent or permission, and you most certainly don't have the right to forge my signature, lie to yourself, and single me out for your abuse and your lies and your treason. You see, treason also happens in families of origin. Treason can happen in families of choice. Treason is that betrayal that hurts a life. You always create life debts when you do that. But at the same time, God will say, I'm going to give you a certain period of time to fix this. But if you continue with your league of, with Lucifer, with your study of satanic worship, with your vanity and your vice and your violence and your vandalism, then I'm not going to help you to do this. I'm going to put someone else more marvelous than you in that person's life so that you will have to eat it, own it, and wear it. That you had the best love of your life in that moment of time, but you failed to see it.